Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining us at JK Firearms. I am Jay bringing you a very exciting video today. It is also a comparison here. We have the ever popular Canik Meta MC9 up against the Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro OSP. So we're going to do a little side by side comparison. Look at both of them and anything and let you make the decision which one you like better. So you can drop a comment in the section below. Let us know what you think of either of them. If you've seen our previous video of the Canik Meta MC9 unboxing here, we got another one just like that for you. These guys have been flying off the shelf and they are very hard to keep in stock. We've done our best to go through our whole waiting list of uh, customers and I think we've fulfilled all of our whole waiting list right now of 45 customers that have gotten these guys. So hopefully we'll have more in soon. And if you are interested, by all means, reach out to us on JK Firearm sales at gmail.com our website jkfirearm.com on our website or give us a call in office we'll get you on the list for more when they come in whether it's the all black mc9 we also will be getting in the two-tone fde and black or the all colored fde mc9 again we've had a few in stock of each of those and tons of these black guys and they've just flown right off the shelf the very same day that we've gotten them in so again we're always happy to be able to get them in get them out to all you fine folks so thank you so much for joining us following us along on our on our channel subscribing to our channel passing us along to all your friends and family we couldn't do it without you and if you're brand new to our channel please click that subscription button below it doesn't cost you a dime and it really does help out our channel and shows your support for the second amendment so thank you so very much let's get into this unboxing review comparison again the canic meta mc9 as always you're going to get a great hard shell case as you always do with most of your canic products and then we'll open this up as always you are going to get some two back straps so it already comes with one back strap on it you're also going to get a large and a small back strap you're going to get your uh wrench here your little pistol that looks like a pistol a mini pistol but it is your wrench your nut driver to be able to put on your optics if you do so choose also the bore brush or the bore rod a bore brush and a punch tool there to be able to get your back straps off so again very nice that canic does that for you as always you're going to get all your literature your manuals everything is all right in there for you now with this guy with the canic meta mc9 you do get two magazines you get one 12 round magazine and one 15 round magazine so this guy here is a 15 round magazine and we'll zoom in on there it does give you a little extra grip here on the pinky right there a little extra flared mag well or mag base plate there again this is the 15 round you do get your speed loader as always we'll pop this guy back in and with the canic meta mc9 you're going to get an iwb owb holster right here for you right there iwb owb right now it is set up for iwb you can take these clips move them around to the back side and make it owb all right we will do a safety function check Magazine is empty. This is your 12 round magazine. It is empty. There is a chamber flag inside of there. We'll pop that guy out and ready to go. All right, let's lock that guy back. There we go. All right, it is locked back. It is free, clear, and empty. We can take a look at this guy. All right, the Canic Meta MC9 in all black right there. Again, this is what I consider the Glock 43X killer, the Hellcat. Pro OSP killer and also the P365X killer, the micro compact by Canik. The Mete MC9 has been flying off the shelves, as I said previously. Very hard to keep in stock. Everyone is raving about these. I, my personal opinion, out of the box, you will not find a better trigger and a better pistol at this budget friendly price. Again, a budget friendly price, sub $500, very below $500 for a micro compact pistol. With the trigger, everything you and the options, you will not find a better price on these guys. You get your hands on one of these guys, you are scoring gold. Again, no matter what color you go with, they are a great option for you. All right, now let's go ahead and compare here. So 12 round magazine is empty, firearm is empty. All right, with this guy, we're gonna go ahead and box this guy up and get this out of the way. Now we do have a Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro OSP right here. Also, we're going to do a safety check. Magazine is empty. 15 round magazine. Chamber flag is in it. We know this is empty. And we'll get this guy out. All right. Free and clear. Ready to go. All right. These two guys right here. The 
Medi MC9 and also the Springfield Hellcat Pro OSP. Now, when you look at both of them, side by side comparison, your Hellcat Pro is a little bit longer and the Hellcat Pro is 3.7 inches and the Mete is 3.1 inches. So um, barrel length, you're gonna have a little bit more barrel on the Hellcat Pro compared to the Micro Compact MC9 and anything. They are just about the same width. They both do come optic slide cut plate ready for you. Anything, when you're looking at the grips and at the size and the length of the magwells, we'll hold these guys up here. All right, when you're holding them up, the Hellcat Pro does have a little bit longer of a magwell extension compared to your Canik Mete MC9 right there. The nice thing with the Mete MC9 is you can change your back straps. So you, not everyone has a one size fits all hand, anything. So being able to change out the back straps right now, a small back strap is on there. You can change it to medium or large, which is very nice via the punch tool that, does, that your kit does come with. The Hellcat Pro OSP does not have an, an adjustable back strap or an interchangeable back strap, right? What you see is what you get, but it is a little bit longer. So depending on how you like to hold your pistol, right? This one here, the Hellcat Pro OSP, does fit my hand a tad bit bigger as far as the Magwell, right? So it does give you a little bit more length on the Magwell, which is nice compared to the Canik Mete MC9. My hand does come down below it, but again, with a 15 round magazine and the extension of the magazine, it should not be an issue at all. Now, I have recently went from the Canik TP9 Elite Combat Executive as my EDC over to one of these MC9s and I couldn't be more pleased with it. I am very happy to make that change and be able to be carrying a micro compact again. I used to carry the Hellcat, the regular Hellcat as my EDC and um, just couldn't get used to it. Still, it was a great pistol, but I could not get used to it as my EDC. Having the MC9 out for just about two weeks, love it. I've put my red dot on it and we'll do a video on that guy too. Here's some of the customizations that I did with that guy. But again, the Canik Mete MC9 right there compared to the Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro. Now, with both of these guys, when you're looking at the rear sights, and we'll try to get a good video here, the rear sights there, on your Hellcat Pro OSP, you are gonna have some accented rear sights with the white U. The Canik Mete MC9 is just a black. They are both fiber optic sights up front. So um, with the white dots, sorry, white dot sights up front there for you. Now, when you're doing them both, you are getting two 15 round magazines with the Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro OSP. Now we do have this one in stock on our website as a gear bundle. So you get three additional 15 round magazines. That would give you five magazines total of 15 rounds for the Hellcat Pro OSP, which is a great deal, right? Along with the range band. The Canik Mete MC9 comes with one 12 round and one 15 round magazine. Still great capacity for a micro compact, right? Nothing to frown about with that. Um, also with the Mete MC9, you are getting a nicer case. The Hellcat Pro does not come with a whole lot besides the magazines and a range bag. But again, your personal preference, whether you're wanting just a tad bit more on a barrel length here, this guy, like I said, 3.7 inches compared to 3.1 inches on a barrel length on the, Hel or on the Hellcat Pro OSP or on the Canik Mete MC9. Either way, you cannot go wrong. Again, for a budget friendly price of sub $500 on the MC9, this Hellcat Pro does sit just a tad bit above the 500 mark. So again, a little bit more than the 500. So under budget friendly, which we would consider $500 or less, the Canik Mete MC9, you will not go wrong with it. If you have any questions, by all means, drop a comment below. We will be happy to answer any questions. Let us know what you think between the Canik Mete MC9 and the Hellcat Pro OSP, which one you would choose if you had your options, or if you do have, have an option and you carry one or the other, which one you're, you're on the side of the fence of the Canik Mete MC9 or the Hellcat Pro OSP. Either way, Great pistols on our website, jkfirearm.com. Make sure you check them out. As always, stay safe, fire down range, and we will see you soon.